Hi, I'm Dee at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Today, I'm at the Apollo Saturn V Center, home to one of the largest rockets that's ever been built. If you've been watching our series, you've seen Dan, our educator, telling you several different ways that you could make rockets at home. Some of them are with chemical propulsion, some of them are changing potential energy to kinetic energy, and some of them are using air. When you think of Kennedy Space Center, you should be thinking of rocket launches because that's what we do here. And there are lots of different ways that you can propel a rocket into the atmosphere and beyond. But when we're building them at home, we want to use ways that are definitely safe and easy for you to use with household objects. So today I'm going to show you another way to use air to launch your rocket. And this time we're going to use a launch system that uses air pressure but in this case, rather than a chemical reaction to build that pressure, we're going to produce it mechanically. And the mechanism that we're going to use is squeezing your hand. That's right, that's all it takes. You've probably got a lot of power in your hand and you've just never realized it before. But with the help of a few simple items, like a water bottle and a couple of straws, we're going to launch a rocket today. The first thing you need to do is take the lid off the water bottle, make sure it's clean and dry, and then you should get an adult to help you with this part. We need a hole in the lid that's just big enough for a drinking straw to slide through. If you can drill the hole or if your parents can drill the hole, that's one way. Another way is to melt the hole if it's a plastic bottle top. I used a heat, a high heat glue gun and very carefully put the tip there. But again, this is not something you want to do yourself. You want to make sure that your parents are helping you with this because we don't want anybody to get burned or have a drill bit go through their hands. Safety is always first at NASA. Once you've got the hole, you can screw this back onto your bottle very tightly, insert the straw, and you want to put the straw so that it's sticking up about halfway and about halfway in the bottle, just like that. And then we need to make this airtight. And to make it airtight, I'm going to put some modeling clay or putty around the top of this. And you just want to push it on there so that you can't see any more holes. It might make your straw lean over sideways a little bit. That's OK. But once you've got it all airtight, it's going to look like that. Then all we need is a rocket to launch. Believe it or not, this is our whole launch system. Now for the rocket. You can either look at what Dan did for the straw rockets and wrap your paper around the straw and tape it shut, or you can take a slightly larger straw, one that will slip on and off that straw, and for that straw to become a rocket, all you need to do is fold over the top, tape it shut, because you don't want any air to get out the end, and then if you want to, you can add some stabilizing fins on the bottom just with a little bit of paper and tape. Once you've done that, all you have to do to launch your rocket is put it on the end. Make sure that your launch range is clear. Use some safety glasses if you're going to get too close to it. And give us a countdown. In three, two, one, squeeze. And off goes your rocket. Let me show you that one more time because you can launch straight up. Or you can launch at an angle like this. Three, two, one, launch. Neither one of those went very far, but maybe you'll have an even better launch. Sometimes I've seen squeeze rockets launch all the way across the room. It all depends on how well you squeeze and how well you design your rocket. Post your results in the comments below so we can see what you did. This is Dee from Kennedy Space Center reminding you to stay safe and healthy, use your creativity in positive ways, have a great day, and keep looking up.